Good morning, guys. In this video, I want to discuss uh, improving your finances. I want to talk about some of the things that I do to save money, some of the things that are pretty easy. Um, this is not going to be a trading-related video. Um, I, I am going to make more trading-related videos, obviously, but uh, considering you're probably interested in your finances, I just want to talk to you about some quick and easy things that you can do to save money in your daily life. Now, in full disclaimer, a lot of this is going to be United States specific. So if you are outside of the United States, some of this will apply and some of it will not. Um, I first want to talk about uh, an app that I use to save money on gasoline. And I'll probably link my referral in the description box below. You can use it or not use it. Um, the app is called Upside, U-P-S-I-D-E. And I think it's available on uh, Android and iOS. But it's basically a, uh, a gasoline cash rewards um, app. So you link your credit card or your debit card or whatever payment method you're using uh, to Upside. And then you claim offers. You go fill up your tank and it gives you a little bit of money back. So this is kind of difficult to see on my phone. But I'll basically tell you that I've saved over $60 using uh, Upside. My invite code is UK, uh, UQHJR. Um, is this going to make you a fortune? No, but it's a way that if you use it consistently, you will save money. So um, you should be using uh, some sort of a gas, a gas app. I don't know if Upside is the only one, if it's the best one. It's the one that I use. But whenever you uh, make a purchase for gasoline, you should, you should go ahead and use Upside or another rewards app. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing I want to talk about is using uh, loyalty programs. So on my phone, I have a bunch of um, apps, Toast, Takeout, um, basically all of the apps. Uh, whenever whenever you, you go to a store, you should always be using the uh, rewards program. You can even set up a separate email for all of your rewards. Virtually every private company in the United States has some sort of loyalty or rewards program. It could be through a third-party app like, uh, for example, I use Toast. It's difficult to see on the phone, but um, you, basically every once in a while I'll get a free coffee. Um, you should be using all of the rewards programs that you can. Um, on to gasoline. Um, I use the Shell uh, app, so if you're in the United States and you purchase gasoline, I recommend that you get the loyalty app for whatever, whatever gasoline you typically buy. Um, I typically fill up at Shell, so I get 15, right now I get 15 cents back um, on every purchase from Shell. Or, um, and this will save you money over time. I've saved over $90 in gasoline since I've started using it. so. The Shell Fuel Rewards Program is is something that you should be using. Or uh, I've also got Exxon Mobil Rewards and Valero Rewards. Whatever whatever gasoline you typically use, we will have some sort of a loyalty program. If you're trying to save money, you should you should definitely use it. The next thing I want to talk about is improving your finances by using credit. So in the description box below, you will see my referral link to the American Express Blue Cash Preferred Credit Card. Um, if you go to American Express credit cards, you will see all different kinds of, of cash back cards. Mine is not the only one. Um, if, you, if you travel a lot, the, the rewards point is another good option. But guys, the, whether it's American Express or using a different credit card, um, this is the one that I use, guys. I use the Blue Cash Preferred. It's 6% cash back on supermarkets, 3% on gasoline. 1% uh, on everything, which is pretty standard. Um, they do give me $75 per referral, and uh, they'll give you the same. And uh, what else? You uh, American Express, I like it a lot because it has a, a bunch of um, separate offers as well. Like if you, if you go to your American Express app on your phone and you go to the offer section, American Express uh, partners with different companies so that you can get some sort of money back on whatever you're purchasing. So you should be using credit, guys. I don't know how else to say that. Um, whether it's American Express, Discover, Visa, you should be getting cash back on all of your purchases. 
Um, sometimes this will stack. Like for example, whenever I buy gasoline, I've got I've got Shell rewards, I've got upside, and I've got cash back on my American Express. So I'm always taking money off of my gasoline purchases. Um, if you can, if you have access to credit, you should be using credit. There's no other way to put that. You you want to at least get the one percent cash back. Virtually every credit card provider is going to give you at least one percent cash back. I happen to like the American Express because it has so many other features. Um, you can book travel directly through American Express. You can, like I said before, they have a bunch of separate offers that are in addition to, to your other cash back. Um, if you spend $3,000 in the first six months, they give you $250 statement credit. So overall, guys, you should be using credit. You should be getting cash back. Um, you should not be using cash for most of your purchases. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, um, is on Coinbase. Um, I have, you can see that I've uh, I've got $290 in it right now. Um, guys, you should always be looking for interest-bearing accounts. So what do I mean by that? Anything that's going to pay you interest on your money, um, certificate of, certificates of deposit, money market accounts, annuities. Um, if you don't have a lot of money, what I recommend is United States uh, dollar coin on Coinbase. It earns you 5.1% um APY, so you can see that on $290 my, in, in my first month, I made $0.27, cents. and of course this compounds, guys. They pay you out monthly. So point being is that you should be uh, putting money in interest-bearing accounts. So I like uh, Coinbase's United States dollar coin. That's a risk-free way to make some interest. In addition to that, guys, um, Certificates of deposit. I have a certificate of deposit with this bank. I've got uh, certificates of deposit with another bank. Um, CDs right now are paying anywhere from four to five and a half percent, and it's basically just free money. Um, if you have extra money, I recommend uh, certificates of deposit or high interest bearing accounts. The other thing is uh, I bonds. So uh, Treasury Direct, if you sign up for a Treasury Direct uh, account, these are um, saving bond, savings bonds directly issued by the United States government. Uh, I don't have any right now, but I do plan on buying them. Um, I-bonds are, are pegged to the uh, Consumer Price inf uh, Index, and they're, they're, uh, it's compounded. You can, you can read on Treasury.gov, I-bonds. That's something else that I recommend. So, in addition to that, um, guys, you should be looking at short-term uh, short-term capital gains through uh, cash secured puts and covered calls. So, uh, basically, a cash secured put is is selling a put. Um, that you that you have the cash for if you were assigned the option it's a good way to make uh, interest or if you get assigned shares it's a good way to to basically trade not risk-free but with a lower risk than just buying stock so um, guys cash secured puts covered calls uh, interest bearing accounts such as CDs money markets uh, annuities uh, and bonds, so like for example, the I bonds from treasury.gov, uh, those are all things that you can improve your finances with. You should be making your purchases on credit. So I recommend the uh, what I have linked in the description box below, which is the American Express Blue Cash Preferred card. Um, gives you a bunch of different benefits. But basically, guys, if you're if you're just paying for everything with a debit card or with cash, you're just you're just missing out on cash back. And then loyalty programs, guys. Um, you should be on every loyalty program that you can. Um, I, I've shown you Upside. I've shown you the Shell Fuel Rewards. You should be getting money on your on your gasoline every time that you fill up, whether it's through the, uh, like I said, I stack it three times. The way that I save on gasoline, I, I save 3% through the American Express. Uh, I save a few cents from Upside, and then I have Shell Fuel Rewards. So I'm consistently driving down the price of my gasoline. And then, guys, I've shown you a 5.1% uh, APY on United States dollar coin. This has no minimum, so if you don't have $1,000 to buy a CD, if you don't have $2,000 to buy a CD, 
You can go and put the money in uh, United States dollar coin as well. That will also earn you interest. So in summary, guys, how you improve your finances, you should be making purchases mostly on credit, except for those things that you don't want the government to know about. Um, number two, you should be using all company loyalty programs that you can get your hands on. If you if your coffee shop has a loyalty program, you should be using it. If your grocery store has a lo loyalty program, you should be using it. Um, if your gasoline company like Shell, Exxon, they have loyalty programs, you should be using it. Uh, Interest-bearing accounts such as certificates of deposit, annuities, uh, and money market accounts are another good way to earn interest. I've also shown United States dollar coin. Uh, Treasury Direct, I-bonds is another, is another option for an interest-bearing account. Uh, and finally, guys, um, the other thing that you should be looking for are short-term capital gains from cash-secured puts or covered calls. Again, that's covered calls where you own the stock and then you sell a call against your stock um, or cash-secured puts where you have cash and then you sell a put against that cash. That's how you can generate options premium. Um, and that's, that's another way to, to boost your income, guys. So. Uh, short-term capital gains, interest-bearing accounts, loyalty programs, credit, and uh, things like that. So those are the various ways that I improve my finances. I hope that you found this uh, video to be useful. You can find all my referral links in the description box below.